Welcome to the 2023 National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan Storm Spotter Training recording sessions. This is the first of a seven part series, which will go through everything you need to know when it comes to severe storms and how to report the information from those storms to our office. So here's the seven different sections that we're gonna go through. We won't show the slide on each different recording, but uh, each one of these will have enough information to cover that is important when it comes to storm spotting and being aware of if it's a day where we need to know uh, about weather information and storms and uh, just how to get that information to us as well and what kind of things we need to know about. So to start off, just to give a little bit of background into who the National Weather Service is, we are part of the federal government under the Department of Commerce and NOAA, and we are responsible for all the weather, water, and climate data, the forecast warnings, and uh, decision support to keep people safe. So main things there, warnings, forecasts, uh, that all starts with us and any of the data collection that occurs as well. For us in particular, we cover Southern Wisconsin. So our office here, which you see on the nice drone video, is in uh, Eastern Jefferson County, halfway between Madison and Milwaukee. We have uh, all day, all night operations where there's always two people working. So normally there's somebody that comes in around eight o'clock and then uh, they stay around till four. And then in the evening, there's another one that goes from about 4 p.m. to midnight and then another group that works from about midnight to eight o'clock or so. But when we have severe weather that is expected to occur, we bring in more people to cover those times when uh, we, we just have more activities, more things that we need to take care of, like answering the phone or uh, putting out warnings or anything like that. So we have 24 dedicated staff members. Most of those are meteorologists and uh, they're working those rotating shifts to let you know what's gonna happen with the, the weather. So why do we need storm spotters? Why are we doing these recordings and going out around, you know, around Southern Wisconsin each year? Well, we have a lot of great tools when it comes to the weather to be able to monitor where storms are like radar here, but it doesn't tell us what's happening on the ground. We really rely on the people on the ground, the storm spotters, the volunteers that are looking at the skies to tell us what's happening there. Because without that, we don't know what's happening. So. We really rely on uh, what those people are seeing on the ground because the radar doesn't see the tornado. It doesn't say, hey, you had a 1.75 inch golf ball size hail here in Wapan. We have to just try to diagnose what we're seeing on radar and make an assumption that that's what's happening there. But we don't know with 100% confidence of what that is. So we need people like you who are uh, interested in the weather to report to us what you're seeing. Another thing is that every year in Southern Wisconsin, we get severe weather. So it's a matter of how often we get it and where. This year, things started really early. March 31st, we had quite a few tornadoes in Southern Wisconsin. So every year we're gonna get some of this, the tornadoes, large hail, severe winds and flooding and lightning. It's just a matter of how frequent and, uh, and where that's gonna occur. So we have to be prepared for that. We need to have information to help keep people as safe as possible when this bad weather does come their way. So to end the session, just the one, one thing we wanna reiterate here or uh, let make you aware of is that the number one rule of storm spotting is that uh, you need to be safe. Your life is more important than any report we could ever get. We Our goal is to keep people safe. We don't want you to put yourself in harm's way just to get a storm report to us. So, um, you know, if you're not comfortable with the situation, just go back to your shelter. There's no requirement that you need to become a storm spotter after going through this training. There's a lot of good stuff in there just to help with your own awareness and how to stay safe. So um, as you go through this, feel free to uh, gather information, but uh, just know that reports, when we do get them in a safe manner, we really appreciate that information that we do get.